Self drive to England. How to avoid penalties. Always follow the 10 steps set out by the UK Border Agency to prevent clandestine entry and how to avoid a penalty. All road hauliers, including drivers, traveling to the UK must operate this effective system to prevent the carriage of clandestine entrants. If you do not have an effective system or do not operate the system properly, then you will receive a penalty of up to £2,000 per clandestine entrant carried. Follow the following steps to avoid penalties. Before you start your journey, 1. Follow the instructions in our training manual and instructional videos. 2. If possible, watch the vehicle being loaded to ensure that no unauthorized persons enter the vehicle. 3. Check the fabric of the vehicle, bodywork and canvas and note any damage on the checklist. Immediately after loading. 4. Secure the vehicle. See Chapter 5 of our trailer manual and our instructional videos for securing hard-sided and soft-sided vehicles. 5. Check the panniers. Secure with locks where possible. Check the wind deflector and axles. Six, check the fabric, roof and security of the vehicle. Seven, if there is evidence of damage, tampering or unauthorized access, check the load, load space and reapply security devices. Before you enter the UK control zones or embark for the UK. 8. Repeat steps 6 and 7. 9. If it was not possible to secure your vehicle, conduct a thorough manual check of the load and load space. 10. Record your checks on the checklist, at loading, after each stop and before entering the UK control zone or embarking for UK. Keep in mind that you are obliged to use the effective system as depicted in this video and act accordingly. Only then can we avoid penalties. In brief, make sure that you have a copy of the How to Avoid Penalty leaflet and a checklist from the UK Border Agency with you. Watch the trailer being loaded. Check the fabric of the trailer for damages. Secure the vehicle as described in our training manual and our instructional videos. Check the panniers, wind deflector and axles for damage. If there is evidence of damage, tampering, unauthorized access, check the load and load space and reapply security devices. If your load is unsecured prior to entering the UK control zones or embarking for UK, check the load and load space, panniers, wind deflectors and axles thoroughly. Always record checks made on the checklist provided. Lately, we have a lot of problems with illegal immigrants trying to cut their way into our trailers at the IDS diesel station in Calais. It is therefore prohibited to fuel up at the IDS diesel station in Calais. To prevent illegal immigrants from boarding our trucks, your last stop has to be 150 kilometers before Calais. After this final stop, you have to drive non-stop towards the Euro tunnel. Be aware that illegal immigrants are constantly trying to get on board your trailer. Their methods for getting on board are unprecedented.
Therefore, always pull the tear cord to be sure that it's not manipulated. Keep in mind to always follow terminal staff's instructions. Drive slowly through the scanning device with a maximum speed of 10 km per hour. After this you can choose to do an additional CO2 check to see if there are no illegal immigrants inside the trailer. We want you to carry out this extra test every time. Terminal staff will measure if there are any differences in CO2. When there is the smallest doubt, they will ask you to open the trailer for a full visual check. Always cooperate. When this check has been done, terminal staff will stamp all your pages of the CMR, sign off your CMR and supply you with a new seal. This stamp on your CMR is the proof you've had this check done for UK border control. When you enter the port of Calais, you can choose out of five check lanes. If possible, we want you to choose lane 2, 3 or 4 for a heartbeat scan to check on illegal immigrants. The heartbeat check is 90 till 95% reliable, but cannot always be performed due to heavy traffic. Therefore, always stop for a CO2 check at hole 6, even if you had a heartbeat scan done.